went off. Um, so uh, my question is, you know, I wanted to kind of follow what you were doing, which was, you know, you had a group and you, you, know, you get people into the group and you get some interest going and then you, you know, you drop like relevant links, you know, for mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the Amazon associates. And so, but I just don't know anything about moderating a group. I want to set it up the right way. So I just wanted to kind of get, get a feel for like how you do things. Yes, for sure, man, for sure. Um, it it kind of comes down to like number one, just knowing you know what what the what the audience, who the audience is. You know, what's your what market are you you know trying to go after or niche or whatever. Mm -hmm. So well, mine, I you know I wanted to create like sort of I had this idea of like just creating like a um, you know a, a branding like you know Ben's Health and Wealth, and then give awesome. out lot yeah give out lots of of you know value right like. Hey, I read this book. This is a great book. I saw, I was really inspired by your real estate agent group because I think that's real estate agents love to read books. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to just limit it to real estate. I don't want to, I don't want to be too broad, but you know, I wanted to give people value on nutrition, real estate, money and finance, like a, a broad range of things that people could come in and kind of, you know, be a part of. Does that, yes. does that make sense? Is that a good idea? Oh, for sure. For sure. When, one thing okay. that you would, you would want to do though, like no matter what is you want to, you want to narrow it in. Now okay. you, can, you can for sure have multiple fishing poles out. Like one fishing pole is for health and wellness. Another fishing pole okay. is for real estate. Um, another fishing pole is for freaking landscaping. Another fishing pole is for construction, right? These are different fishing poles. These are different niches and you can for sure have multiple niches, but to, to start, I would focus on just one. Okay. Like either I'm going to so, go all in with health and wellness or I'm going to go all in with real estate, but it has to be. Okay. One. Got it. So you don't want to mix, you don't want to mean, okay, that's good because I do have like a passion to do like, you know, uh, put out some, you know, some stuff about health and wellness, right? Like put out just information that I know, uh, books that you can read, recipes you can get, things that you can do. So that might be, you know, like one group. Um, and then maybe yes. another one, like you said, would be for, for realtors. Yes, dude. But here's, here, here's just what I would highly, highly recommend is, is you just like anything, like, just like anything, go all in with one first. Okay. Like go, go all in. Like, for example, if, if you were looking to, if you were looking to become a barber and I'm just using a random example, mm -hmm. if you were looking to become a barber, that's going to take some time to go to barber school to learn how to really cut hair and if you were trying to mix in also becoming a stylist and learning fashion and all at the same time having to deal with clothes and shoes and shirts and ties and, and cufflinks, it's like, shit, there's only so, many time, so much time in a day. Yeah, How can I possibly right. learn both of them at once, right? right? So in this case, when it comes to a business, you want to do one first. Okay. So just from just from the few seconds, I can automatically automatically assume that health and wellness is is where you're really passionate. That's where you're. If, if it was, if I had a pinpoint one, I would assume that you're more passionate about that one because that's the one that you brought up first. I would okay. go all in with that one first. Okay. And, 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 and until you just get it, focus really, drive down on that. Yeah, bro. Until you really, until you really get get it going. And, and, and where, where now we have an audience, now we have a Facebook group of several hundred people, now we have some commissions coming in, then you pivot and start a new one. Okay. But I not like at the that. same time, especially in the beginning. Got it. Yeah. And because my whole thing is like, I want to take all the things that I do in my life that make mm -hmm. my life great, whether it's a product, whether it's this new insole in my shoe, or it's the water filter or the bed or Yes, uh, do dude. the recipes and bring that all in. I think you're right. If I just do that mm -hmm. and you don't, don't, you know, it could, and it could be, you know, books that I read that mm -hmm. are, you know, mm -hmm. really changed, you know, really set off some light bulbs or something. So I think you're right. Maybe it needs to just be more defined and narrowed down um, and just, you know, just keep it to one thing. Yes, for sure, man. In that industry or in any industry, Amazon would, would be a place where you can grab links. Um, and then also, especially for that industry, there's a ton of stuff, you know, health and wellness, just overall random stuff that you can mm -hmm. find on Amazon. Um, so you can for sure set up an Amazon account and become an affiliate. And then another good place for that type of type of industry would be um, ClickBank. Are you familiar with ClickBank? 
I've heard of that word. Can you okay. tell me a little bit about ClickBank? Yeah. Yes, dude. ClickBank is, is the number one platform <clears throat> on the internet when it comes to affiliate marketers. ClickBank is simply a, 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 a I mean, a page, but it's more of, a, of an actual community. Mm -hmm. ClickBank is a community that hosts several different offers from people, so from businesses. So if I'm, if I'm a business owner in the health and wellness and I have a book or if I have a course, mainly ClickBank is for more digital type of stuff. So it, whether it's a digital course, whether it's, a, whether it's videos on how, to, on how to bake, whether it's videos on how to, how to, how to garden, ClickBank is more digital products where, where in here you can, you can grab your own affiliate link and you can start promoting other people's offers. And, and I'll show you this right now. So it's all free. Um, you, all this is free. You set up a, a ClickBank account, you sign in and let me just show you an example in okay. here. There's going to be different categories. So if I come to, let me click on, I click on the three dots at the top and then I go to affiliate marketplace. So this is where you want to be. You come to the affiliate, mar affiliate marketplace and, and over here in the red, I can look for my category. So if I'm into health and wellness, um, I would just look for either green products. I would look for health and fitness. I can look for cooking, food and wine, all these different categories. And in your case, it could be something like health and fitness. And so I click on health and fitness and then this is going to give me, it's going to allow me to sort popularity, average money per sale, so it's going to, it's going to really show me a list of, of, of all the good products that are, that are selling. And so all I got to do is come in here and, and, and click on the link and it'll take me to the page that belongs to the actual owner. So the person, whoever created this content, whoever created the product, this is the sales page. So for example, all I got to do is come over here and click the red button, click on promote, and then I can get my own affiliate link. So I can name this Ben Gibbs and then track an ID that's optional, but I can generate hop link. That's what mm -hmm. you want to do as actually the, yeah, I got to put in mine, which I think mine is, I forgot what the hell mine is inspired, inspired to you. I think that's my, my um, nickname. So if I generate hop links now I can copy this and I can literally start sharing this with whoever the heck I want. And whoever clicks on that link, boom, there's my username right there in the link. If anyone purchases, okay. I make a commission. Wow. So I can take that link and I can email it to, my, to all my people. I could take that link and I can post it in my Facebook group. I could take that link and I can post it on Facebook. And so look, if I took this whole entire link, I copied it, and then I brought it over here to Facebook and I come to the news feed. Hey guys, just came across this amazing product. You guys are going to want to definitely check it out for those of you who are in health and fitness. Right, so you'd write something, and then boom, you can just paste the link, and then there should be a drop down. We'll see a little drop down come down. Um, let's hit enter. There goes fetch and preview. So, so in here, I can either, I can either X this image out, and I can maybe just leave it that. I can even add my own photo, um, and and maybe put something like anything random. Like let's just say that's a random photo, so I can put that image in if I wanted to. But most importantly there's the link. Now I really wouldn't put a different photo because if I click on, if anyone clicks on the photo, it doesn't take them to the link. Whereas if I would have left I what see. they had, if they click on the image, then they go to the link. But mm -hmm. I, I can easily take that link, man, and, and post it wherever the heck I want, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and, and, and whoever clicks on it, you know, will be taken to that page. And, and, that, and, and so in here in ClickBank, ClickBank, again, is the number one platform where people can come in and find whatever product they're interested in and promote it. And then it wow. just kind of showed you That's the commissions. Amazing. Like on this one, boom, 100 bucks per sale, 68 bucks per sale. And what is that product right there? What is that? The, these, uh, on... this, this one right here? Yeah. So look, it also shows us the affiliate page. So once you once we once we click on promote and get our own link, this is actually you know what this is this is just the page for affiliates. So for example, on I each see. of these ClickBank ones, let me go back to it. On each of these ClickBank ones, you'll see affiliate page, affiliate page, affiliate page. That's what mm -hmm. you want to check on. You want to click on that first because that page is it it tells you as the affiliate what what it's all about. 
So you can come right. in here and, and read that and be like, okay, damn, that sounds like a pretty damn good product. I want to, I want to, I want to promote. And so it's just a simple page to, to get the affiliate some, some information about the product or again, or I can click on, oh. look, this one's diabetes, diabetes, freedom, outrages, new blood sugar offer. So I can click on that. And this is the actual sales page. So, so again, the affiliate page just gives me information as the affiliate if I, and, and, you know, to, 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 to educate me to see if I even want to promote it. But if I click on the top link, mm -hmm. it, it takes me to the actual sales page. And this is the page that you would start promoting. But you would do, you know, you would for sure see. click the red button first to get your own custom link. So this right here, wow. bro, diabetes. Like if you're into health and wellness, for sure, dude, diabetes, dude. You promote that, people start buying it, and the commission that's being paid out on it is freaking, you know, forty-two bucks. You know, and, and it, you know, I start getting a few of those per day while you're at work. You know what I mean? That that's not bad. Yeah. But but see, yeah. here's here's where a lot of rookies bad. a lot of rookies get it wrong, where they think they can just grab this link and start posting mm -hmm. it everywhere. It's like that's kind of the last right. thing you want to do. You wanna you wanna build the group. You wanna build the Facebook group. And if I were you, that's why I'm okay. saying I would, I would double down on one industry because if I were you, I would start building a YouTube channel around it. Okay. okay. That, that's so YouTube channel Facebook, around that. Facebook yeah. group, YouTube channel, and also you're going to need a landing page software because as okay. you start to, as you start to um, build your YouTube channel in the description of your videos, you want links in the description that don't necessarily link out to the offer you want those links to link out to a landing page where you're capturing the lead because if uh, i if i if funnel, i grab this is funneling right this is funneling this is building a list yeah. so so it's the same same exact concept of you building a facebook group now you have 300 people in this group that all, that all have the same interest. I also want to build an email list of 300 people that all have the same interest. And the only way I'm going to build an email list is if I send them to a landing page. So for example, okay. for example, if, if we were targeting diabetes, rather than taking them straight to this page right away after one click, I would send them to one basic landing page that has maybe some of this text on my, but it's my landing page through Karcher, for example, it's my landing page. I would take them to a landing page. Hey, interested in knowing what this whole diabetes is? Enter your name and e email here. They enter their name and email, then they go to this page. I need to capture that name and email first, because if I just start promoting this, I'm not going to know who the hell is clicking over here. Because if it's just a random right. link that I put in Facebook group, or if it's a random link that I have in my description of a YouTube channel, I don't know who the hell is clicking it. on it, right? Yeah. So it's not even just for the tracking ability. It's for the fact that I want that lead. Because if I have that person mm -hmm. click on my landing page first and enter their name and email, because they want to know what this whole diabetes thing is all about, that's a person that, that is very interested in that topic. When, that, when they come straight here, they may not purchase this right away. But hey, they're, they're interested in that type of stuff. So now I'm able to control that list in, in a Karcher, for example, because they hit my landing page first and now I know they have an interest in that. So if it's not this product that they buy later, right, right away, maybe, maybe a week or two later, I come back to, to, to ClickBank and I find a different product on diabetes. And because I captured that lead from a landing page a week ago, I can then take the next offer and email it to them in the future. Because that specific list is interested in this specific topic. I need to capture that lead first. And so that's the same thing with Amazon. As you start to grab links in Amazon, like I can come over here, log in, and I come over here to product link, linking, and I go to product links. I can come to Amazon, and I can freaking get any, any, any product. I could type in any product. Let's type in um, health, health books. I can click any, any subject, any topic, and I can get my affiliate link. But here's the thing also. So let's say this book right here. Here's a book, 19 bucks. I make a percentage of that. I come over here. I hit this drop down. I hit shorten URL. There is my custom URL. Anyone clicks on that, I make a commission. But again, what rookies would do is they'll take that link and they'll just start posting it everywhere and, and, and hope and pray that someone clicks on it. Again, rather than doing that, I'd rather either build a Facebook group 
or, 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 or put the link in the description. And, 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 and rather than, rather than sending them straight to this link right away, I would send them straight to my landing page. Hey, interested in the hottest books when it comes to, to health and fitness, click here. And then they click there and they go straight to a landing page. They enter their name and email. Then they go to the offer. I want to capture that email first. I need that email first because again, if I can do it that way in the future, I can then start emailing that list what they're interested in. Because if I take a link and just put it everywhere, that's literally spraying and hoping that someone clicks. That's throwing spaghetti against the wall, which is social media. That's throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks. I don't want to do it that way. I want to freaking, I do want to find the people who are interested, but I want them to come into my world first. And by doing that, you got to click on my landing page. You got to enter your name and email. Then I'll show you the diabetes, diabetes video. Mm -hmm. Right. Because again, I want to be able to leverage that list, that list in the future. And, 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 and once I get you to my landing page, once I get you to my landing page, like for example, here's one of my landing page FB ads for beginners. Let's say for example, I come over here to the marketplace. Let's say I go back to, let's hit back and let's go to this, these categories over here on the left, we got e-business and marketing, um, which would that, that would kind of be up my alley. So if I click on that and let's say, for example, I look at all these different e-business and e-marketing opportunities. Let's say, for example, I get you to my landing page. Hey, interested in, 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 in working from home and want to find the best opportunity, click the blue button below and boom, they click on that. They enter their name and email, teach me the newest opportunities and boom, now they're on my email list. Now on my list, I can have a, I can have a handful of emails that are already preset, ready to go. Hey, hey Ben, thank you so much for opting in. Check out this opportunity that I came across a few months ago that you're going to freaking love. Click here to see what it's all about. And that's an email. So now that person clicks and they end up going to, you know, freaking an opportunity, for example. And then, and then maybe, maybe four days later, Hey Ben, this is David. Just want to follow up. Hey, did you get my last email? Awesome. Hey dude, take a look at this one. Let me know what you think about this one. And boom, it's a different offer, right? So now I'm controlling that list. I'm leveraging the list and I'm building a list of interested people on, I'm building a list of people who are interested in the same topic rather than spraying it against the wall and hoping that someone in social media world is going to click on it. Wow. That's your awesome strategies, David. What I am spraying is my landing page. This is what I'm spraying. Mm -hmm. I'm spraying this everywhere. Hey guys, interested in the newest health and wellness benefits of 2020? This page, this is my landing page. This is what I'm spraying everywhere. This link is what's in the, is in the description of my YouTube videos. This link is sprayed all over, all over social media. This link is in my Facebook group. I need to get your email first. And, 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 and so this right here, whatever headline, whatever, you know, bullet points, keep it general, but on that topic and now just build your list, build your list. Cause that's, that's where it's at. It's, it's in the list. It's in the list. And to build the list fast, it's going to be Facebook ads. I would, I would take, I would take maybe, let's say for example, this diabetes one, I would, I would run a Facebook ad, target everyone who is interested in any, any form of diabetes, any, anything like that. Facebook has all that data. I would simply run a Facebook ad targeting diabetes and getting people to my landing page to get them to opt in. Once they opt in and they enter their name and email, then they go to this page. Wow, that's a really good idea. <laughs> okay. Now what that's going to do is again, that's going to allow me. Now everyone that goes here is not going to buy. Obviously you'll have a handful that do buy, but then you're going to have, let's say for example, nine out of 10 don't buy and that's fine. One out of 10 buy the other nine. I'm going to be very happy that I did it this way first, because now those other nine, I know they weren't interested in this product but I know they're interested in diabetes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to ClickBank and find other products, or I'm gonna go to maybe other websites and try to find other products that are similar. So now I can start emailing my list of 400 people who all have that same interest. Now, the Facebook group, very similar, you know, but, but at the same time, the Facebook group is also pretty general. Health and wellness, there's so many things that happen in that industry. So, so, so if I can, even break it down even further 
every landing page would be probably based on its own specific health and wellness. You're coming here and this is a diabetes. You're going to my other page and it's all about greens. You're going to my other page and it's all about working out. But I'm running Facebook ads to get you here. Because again, spraying this link all over social media, that's not really going to do no it's really not going to do much, man. It's really not. And, 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 and building a Facebook group, that's going to take time as well. So David, do, I have to have, do I have to have a different domain for each landing page or one domain for you, multiple you, landing you pages? You can have one. You can have one. Okay. You can have one. Gibbshealthandwellness.com. And, 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 and from that domain, you create multiple pages. Yeah, I, already, I already have a domain. So I, I took. Yeah, for sure. Around that domain, you build all these other multiple pages. So, for example, yours would be bengibbs.com forward slash secrets of diabetes. bengibbs.com forward slash eat your greens. And now we're just creating Got different it. pages for different, different, mm -hmm. and it's not even different pages for one specific offer. Like, this is a specific offer. I'm not creating pages around specific offers. I'm creating pages around specific topics. This is the topic of diabetes. So I'm going to create a page around diabetes and anyone that comes over here, again, I know what they're interested in and I own that email. They opted into my list because again, if I send them straight to Amazon, if I just share this link and send them straight to Amazon and, and, and I just take this link and I bring it over here to Facebook and I start posting all over. Okay. If I did that, I'm not going to know who bought. Now, would I get a right. commission? Yeah, that's cool. But I need to know who the hell bought. I need to know who the hell was interested in that, in, that, in that topic. And I can only do that if I took them to my page and captured the email first and then send them here. I see. Okay. Makes sense? So you would get them, you would get them, yeah, you would get them to your landing page. And your landing page takes them to uh, the Facebook group or, or to the, like, where would they get that link, like, uh, to what you're trying to get them interested in. Would, it, would the landing page take them to multiple places, take them to a different place or very good question. Uh, just capturing their, their, yeah. Very, very good question. In Karcher, for example, when I connect the landing page, Karcher and any system, it all works the same. But once you, once you go to the page and you opt in, Kartra wants to know when they click on that blue button, where do they go next? So once they click on that blue button, boom, I could take them straight to this page. Like this link right here. Hey, interested in the hottest books in health and wellness? And, and that's, that's the headline of my, of my landing page, right? Interested mm -hmm. in the hottest books on how to freaking do this, how to do that. Click here. They opt in. They enter their name and email. Show me the hottest book. Boom. Right when they click on that blue button, they go straight here. To the... To the I see. They go straight here. You. I see. You could... so, so I'm telling okay. Facebook, I'm giving Facebook this top link. This top link is my affiliate link. Mm -hmm. So I'm giving, I'm giving, not Facebook, I'm giving my landing page software. I'm giving Karcher. I'm saying, hey, whoever opts in and they click that blue button, the thank you page is this. Okay. Or, yeah. I see. You can easily do it that way. Um, or you can send them, like, for example, let's say I, let's say I opt in. Let's say I come here. I click on the blue button and then I go to the next page, which is what we call a thank you page. This thank you for subscribing. I can even put the Amazon link down here. Hey, click this button to see the hottest books. And boom, it's a button that they click on that takes them straight over here. Wow. And the That's cool amazing. thing about Amazon, this is your affiliate link up here. Cause we created, you know, we, there's our, there's my link. The cool thing about Amazon is that once a person clicks on your link, that's why it's also good to have these links all over the damn place because, again, you never know who the hell is going to click it. But the strategy that I'm giving you is take them to a landing page first and capture the email. Mm -hmm. but, but even if you're not doing that and you're putting that, that link anywhere, the cool, the cool thing about, about Amazon, even though the commissions are smaller, here's how it works. If they click on your link, they saw it on Facebook. They saw it on LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever. They click on that link and they go to this page. Amazon is now tracking everything under your link. So if this person buys the book, then you make a commission. 
if they if they come here after clicking your link and they're like hmm 19 bucks uh i don't know if i really want to spend that let me see if there's any other books that might be cheaper so what they end up doing is they end up clicking on this they end up searching something else they end up buying something else you still make a commission let's say for That's example awesome. let's say let's say they also okay they see this book 895 okay great i'm gonna grab that book i'm gonna add it to my cart and, and oh dang you know what my wife needs this she needs that she needs this so and then i and then that person ends up going to shop and buying other crap you make a commission on all that other crap that's amazing so so that's so you make cool. a commission and, and that's a 24-hour period so it within 24 hours whatever they purchase or whatever yeah whatever they purchase within that that 24 hour period after clicking your link you make a commission and that's the thing about amazon awesome. you know amazon is freaking it's a freaking it's 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 a black hole meaning the moment you go here it's like all it's like walking into walmart you cannot walk into walmart and just buy bubble gum like you're going to come out with a bunch no. of other crap you can't go to costco and just buy a freaking toothpaste like you're going to come out with a hundred dollars wow. right like that's the thing about Amazon. People come here, they got here from clicking on the book, but all of a sudden they check out with five other products and, and you make a commission. Yeah. I do it. <laughs> right. We all, we all do no, that. Right. Yeah. So, so long story short, I would focus on one niche, one industry. I would build a Facebook. Okay. Group, I would build a YouTube channel and rather than leaking out to any specific product, I would, I would take them to a landing page first based okay. on the topic based on the topic are you into drinking greens okay click here are you interested in, in, in information regarding diabetes and getting better okay click this link here and that link is taking you to taking them to a landing page first so ben can start segmenting and start categorizing all these people who are interested in specific topics within that niche yeah the idea that's awesome right? So you grab the lead, you're able to build a list, and it's the list that, that is going to be making you money. But, but again, in order for us to grow that list fast, I would run Facebook ads. And you don't have yeah, to spend a lot, thing. man. You, you want to run Facebook ads straight to that type of person and, 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 and get, them to, get them to that diabetes video. And again, okay. again, nine out of ten of them probably won't buy the diabetes video, but – yeah, I got a list. Email. I got their email, bro. So I can email you in a week a, a different di diabetes program, and, and, and you're probably going to like that one better. And so my whole job at the end of the day is to just run Facebook ads to drive traffic to my landing page. That's it. So you're okay. running Facebook ads. People are clicking over here while Ben is at work. Those emails are going out automatically while Ben is at work, and people are making sales because all these emails that are going out with your affiliate links – Ben is making, making sales while he's freaking sleeping. This so entire amazing. thing should be automated. You should not be posting your link everywhere, having to manually and physically um, um, post it everywhere. Like you, don't, you shouldn't have to do that. You should be running Facebook ads for sure to capture the lead. And, and, and here's, what, here's, here's, how, here's how I would start it. Here's how I would start it now that I really, really think about it. Here's how I would start it. In health and wellness, there's obviously niche there's there's obviously micro niches within the niche right health and wellness we got diabetes health and wellness we got high blood pressure health and wellness we got eating your greens there's all these micro niches within the overall niche right i would i would obviously pick pick the micro niche so if it's diabetes okay cool then let's focus on diabetes real quick what i would do is i would come over here to fiverr are you familiar with fiverr Yes. Yeah. I actually use them to build the, uh, a logo. Oh, perfect. Here's what you yeah. want to do next. Here's what I would for sure do. Here's how I would start all of this, all of this. I wouldn't take you to a Lenny page, have you enter your name and email, and then go to the diabetes video. I wouldn't necessarily do that just yet. Here's, here's, a, okay. here's a better way. Here's a better way. Here's what I would do for sure. I would come over here to Fiverr. I'd go to writing and translation, and I would look for a, a ghostwriter. Okay. In fact, let me just let me just um let me just put it up right here. Ebook um ghostwriter. Ebook no, not cover. I want ebook. 
I would come over here and have someone ebook writer. Yeah, perfect. So I would come over here, dude, and I would spend freaking, I'd spend 15 bucks. I'd mm -hmm. spend 15 bucks and have someone write me seven to 10 pages on diabetes and yeah. the benefits and how to get better high blood pressure, eating your greens, whatever the topic is. I would reach out to this ghostwriter. I would look for a five star and someone that has way more than one review. There's, there's many in here. And I would, I would message them and I would say, hey, dude, here's my topic. I need a few pages written on this. And what will you charge me? And, and then I would also come in here and budget and I'd go from five, let's call it. And, and you know what? I'd go up a little higher. I'd go 25 bucks because, because this, this right here, this right here is the golden goose. This right here becomes my bait. I am going to spend mm. a good amount. I'm going to spend 25 bucks to have someone out there write me five to 10 pages on the benefits of doing this and this to, to lower your blood pressure or whatever the hell it is, right? That right there becomes my bait. Now I start running Facebook ads promoting a free download. Okay. I would give them something for free right now. Give me a physical download. Give me a PDF. It's on diabetes. Let me know what the hell I can do to, to get rid of my damn diabetes. And these people in here, these ghostwriters, they're smart people. And at the same time, what I would do is I'd, I'd reach out and I'd say, hey, man, 25 bucks is my budget. How many pages can you write me on this topic? And what they're going to do is they're going to write however many pages. You get that Word document back where you can edit. You go into that. Word document, you add your own two cents to it. You add some images to it. You turn their seven page document into 12 pages. Now you have your PDF. That's what we start promoting. And we run Facebook ads. We target that interest to give them away something of value for free. Now I have all these people that are interested in lowering their high blood pressure. Now I have them all captured as a lead on my email list where I'm going to be, be able to email them future promotions in the, in the future. That sounds awesome. So right up front, you don't want to try to sell them something right away. They don't know you yet. It's a cold ad. You're running Facebook ads. Ain't nobody know you yet, especially if you're running it from a page. That, that's why a lot of times people will run Facebook ads from quote unquote business. Well, not business pages, but yeah, it's from the business page, but they would run it at, they would, they would name and title their Facebook business page, a business name. What I would recommend is, is, is your business page, make it your name. Because okay. as you start to run Facebook ads, it's your name that is, that is being seen in the newsfeed. And because, and, 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 and when it's a company name, they really like, for example, let me show you a perfect example. If we come to our newsfeed and we're just scrolling through, we're scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through, and we're seeing a sponsored ad. This right here is, is an ad. New Vita, no profile picture of a human being automatically I'm like, dude, I don't freaking know you. Like, I don't know who the hell's behind this. It's very unpersonal mm -hmm. versus if I scroll through, scroll through. And then a com let, let's see I, if I come across another ad from an actual, look, another one, we funder profile picture, nothing personal. Those ads don't convert as much as a, an ad. If I see one and it's straight from an individual with their profile picture, this one right here, look, at least the profile, at least there's, there's, there's a person there, but the title of the business page, it should be their name. It should be their name, mm -hmm. not, not a company name. Like name it, if you want to add your company name in it, that's fine, but, but put your name in there too. Like, like yeah, instead like, of the real estate rainmakers, I would have put, you know, Jeffrey Jones, the real estate rainmaker. Mm -hmm. So it looks more personal, right? So that, yeah, that, that you know what I mean? And, and, and yeah. so- when, when people are seeing your ad for the first time and it's, and it's very, the, the name is general, like this one, buzzworthy integrated marketing name, very freaking generic, very freaking general, nothing personal, the profile picture, nothing personal. If this person was trying to sell me something right now, it's like, shit, bro, I'm seeing your ad for the first time. I don't know who the hell you are. Uh -huh. The conversion rate, I can, I, I know for a fact, the conversion rate can't be that high. Unless they're running a shitload of ads and, and, and they're in my news feed all the time, then I'll be like, okay, damn, I, I keep seeing them. I keep seeing them. Let me see what they have. And if the text is really appealing to me and if they're giving me something for free, mm -hmm. then I would be more enticed. But if you're just freaking a general business name, no personal profile, and you're trying to sell me something right away, come on, dude. 
like, and, and so that's what I'm saying. This, this business page should be, should be your, your name. The profile picture should be your picture. Look, look, perfect example. There's her profile. There's her name. Homes by Katharina. Much more personal. So if I saw this and she's like saying, hey, hey guys, I'm giving away this free download, 10 pages, a free PDF, the 2020 version of how to sell your home in 2020. Click below to get your free copy. It's like, damn, dude, now, oh. she's, now she has my attention. Yeah. I see her name. I see her profile picture. She's giving me something of value for free. Heck yeah, I'm in. And if it was very specific, if the topic was specific, for example, she's a real estate agent. If she was giving me a seller guide, not, not a guide on all of real estate. No, if she was more specific on sales, on selling, on listing, if she was giving me a seller guide, I click, I go get her seller guide. Now she has a list of people who are interested in selling. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to be able to email me in the future more information and value and offers on selling. Not all of real estate, not investing, not buying, not flipping, not wholesaling, selling. Very specific. So, so, so the offer up front is specific. I want, a, I want an ebook on diabetes. I need an ebook on high blood pressure. I need, a, I need an ebook on eating healthy. And so it's like, dude, you could take a hundred bucks and go get four eBooks and those, that's your bait. You build your entire business around this free download. No one that's, comes into Ben's world unless they get the free download first. I like that. I think that's a really good, I think that's my first place I'm going to start. I like all of this. This is all really good information, David. I really appreciate it. Yes, bro. You're very, very welcome, man. Um, yeah. Is it an overnight thing? No, but is it, is it, is it, is it a long-term substantial type of income opportunity hell yeah yeah, yeah. And, and 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 not only not only do 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 you have affiliate offers that are built in around it but as you build a brand and that's all i'm doing over here man all i do is i i build my channel around one topic really and that's online online entrepreneurship and online entrepreneurship yeah. comes down to landing pages comes down to sales funnels comes down to, to running facebook ads it comes down to um um affiliate marketing so i keep my my channel and so now i'm building an audience of everyone in in that in that in that boat so was that an overnight thing no did it take some no. time hell yeah but now at this point it's like dang dude now now momentum has hit and now awesome people like Ben are finding me, right? Yeah. And, 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 and that's just how it is. So as you build out your brand, it's going to just continue to grow from, from, from starting with affiliate marketing to maybe future partnerships. Maybe some health and wellness company hits you up in a, in a, in a few, in, maybe next year you end up getting a partnership deal with some health and wellness company because they see you at 5,000 subscribers and a Facebook group of 10,000 people and some multi-million dollar health and wellness company hits you up to want to do a promotion. So starting with affiliate marketing is just the beginning. It's going to branch out to many, many things. But again, I would yeah. stay focused on that one niche. Okay. Well, this is uh, a lot. My head's swimming. Yes, <laughs> and bro. it's great in a good way. Yeah. Good, but, man. Um, good. I, I, pr I probably have to jump off this call pretty soon. I don't want to, but, you know, I have other, other things. Yeah, it's all um, good, bro. I got to pick up my little boy, actually, to tell you the truth. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I know dude, we so all got good. those things going on, right? Yeah. Dude, man, I, so I just want to say... Thank, thank you so much. I, like I said, I, I, there's a million hours of stuff out there and I've been watching everything on Shopify and this and that and this, but I'm glad I found this because I'm, I'm trying to get this drilled down into something manageable that I can actually do, not just keep watching YouTube videos, yes. YouTube videos. Um, but I really appreciate you and what you're doing to help people you get this kind of stuff going, man. Yes, sir, bro. I appreciate you, man. I, I really appreciate yeah. you. Thank you very, very much. I'd start here. Pick that micro okay. niche, get some books, get some books done. And then, and then are you on Karcher? Do you have any landing page software or anything like that? No, I don't. You can go ahead and turn me on to that if you want. Yeah, That's set up. There's a link. I'll there's a link into. in the description of any of my videos. It's profit with Kartra dot Kartra, online, okay. but it's a 14 day trial. You're going to need that. You're going to need it eventually. It's, it's $99, okay. but it's, it's, there's a 14 day trial first but it's for your landing pages. It's for your email automation and it's for a calendar. If you ever need your calendar, but really in your case, what you're going to really for sure need is landing page software and email software. Okay. And, and if it's not Kartra and $99 a month, 
then you'd be paying, let's just say click funnels. And just for the landing pages right. alone, it's $99 a month. And then you got to go get a separate email autoresponder, which you could probably right. use MailChimp in the beginning. And that's free, but now you're juggling mm -hmm. multiple softwares. I'd rather just run everything under one. Okay. All so right, I'll take your advice on that. We one, have amazing support sure. on this. Every Tuesday and Thursday, we do a live webinar screen share training from Kartra support. We have a okay. Facebook group um, over here on Facebook, Kartra um, official. There's like 17,000 people in this group. So I can always come to this group, ask a question, how to build a landing page, how to set up my email automation, whatever. There's a ton of affiliate marketers in here as well. Um, so there's a Kartra group. There's our Tuesday and Thursday live training calls. And then you got me. So I can always right. jump in and, and freaking help you put together any page, you okay. know, just set up the fortune day trial and then we'll, we'll get started with that. But hit me up anytime, bro. Pleasure speaking with you, man. Yeah. You're awesome, David. Thank you very much, man. Yes, sir. Okay. God bless you, bro. Talk to you soon. God bless. Take Thanks, care. man. Bye-bye.